All right, I'm going to try this video again. Um, I actually tried it five times, and of course, these are some nutting stones that I have found. Uh, and this here happens to be my koi pond in the backyard. And uh, I wanted to make a short video to show everybody out there how I store my, what I would say, my class four artifacts, which are a whole bunch of uh, material of broken points uh, and pieces, and they're all either half points or broken points. I don't really collect shards out there that much, and I know some of you guys do, uh, of artifacts when you can tell they are. Um, I collect a lot of things when I want to make sure, and you can see down here, all the work pieces you guys have good eyes for it, that uh, they're, they're credible artifacts. I mean, of course these which won't have a lot to do with the video today because I want to show you these pieces out here uh, where I keep my class 4 and I know uh, this video I've tried it seven times and the other one didn't work so I have to make a new one and when you walk around here just like you're collecting you'll see stuff and it'll catch your eye and you'll be like what is that now it's a fun place uh, as you see pieces that are worked down here crystal and what have you Now, I always say it's all fun uh, for kids to come out here or what have you, <clears throat> but this is where I keep it. And you can see all the way around the pond, I've got material. Half points, broken points, broken ears, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a good place to keep it. And I haven't for un until this day, and I had a great idea from a friend who actually sent some other stuff, which I have here, some great material that I keep out here. My hands are red. I just got in from, from running. Maybe I get the color on that. See how much difference that color is than all the other colors that I collect here, which is rhyolite and, and quartz and what have you. And I just wanted to give you a, a small tour. The other one didn't work. Here's how I can tell how much rain we've had. <laughs> I dumped it out. Last week we had about three inches. It's helped me a little bit. <clears throat> anyway. Pieces and points. Uh, and I turned off the waterfall because it's just too loud to make a, a video out here. But uh, trying to upload this, it just didn't work. And I wanted you guys to be able to see this out here. Uh, I had a, a good friend on YouTube... Uh, suggest just to share something and I've shared with a couple people since then uh, some artifacts uh, some stone from this area which which is pretty cool to get I guess because they don't find any of this material which is uh, quartz crystal vein crystal some real pure crystal uh, and of course a ton of rhyolite so as I go around here and show you and you can see down there if you see the fish <sighs> They're having a good time. Anyway, not to make this real long. Uh, see all the different material around. Anyway, uh, and the reason I do this is because if anybody wants uh, to have some of this material from North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, just send me a private note or a personal note or whatever they call it and uh, drop me your address and I don't mind. I'll come out here and I'll gather up a nice handful and uh, I'll send it on to you wherever you may be, whatever state you may be or what have you and uh, you know just share some with you. It won't matter to me whatsoever. I have so much and this out here, all this stuff just absolutely confirms that uh, for the study that I did here uh, with help from a friend from the University of New Mexico that there are in Wilson County and Nash, just my two counties, and that's important to hear first, uh, probably since 10,000 BC 38 trillion. Now trillion was the right number. It blew us away when we put all the numbers together and put them on paper, but 38 trillion projectile points produced since 10,000 uh, BC, or I think we might have done it since 9,000 BC, which would have been 10,400 years because they pretty much stopped making projectile points out of stone in around 14, 1500, 80, around that. But all of that is, is, is uh, 
you know, subject to just a little speculation. All we know is that there is a ton of this stuff in the ground that, of course, never biodegraded. Anyway, keeping this shorter. Taking a look around, and I hope this one uploads. I must have five, six hundred artifacts out here. Of all different varieties, I think probably, of course, all different ages. And I just wanted to give you all a look at it. Uh, I don't know what material you have. I don't know uh, what you find in your area. I can see it on YouTube. But, like I said, the door's open. Just, just send me a note and tell me about you. And uh, if you want any of this stuff, I'll send you a small handful. Just my offer for you. Um, of course, I can't send you any of these. <laughs> I'm going to keep those for a while for my family or kids. Uh, that's, on, that's the only amount of nutting stones and things I've found. And uh, I think you guys had a name for this thing. Uh, if I can see that. I don't know exactly. I didn't find those together. I actually just found this separate. But uh, probably had a smaller one. And this, to finish off, this, of course, is a great piece of flint. It's a skinning knife. It fits absolutely perfect right in the hand smooth flaking around the whole thing I guarantee they held that thing right there and just skinned that animal right down took the skins right off of them anyway I keep it all out here wanted to give you guys a look and to finish things off if I can get this thing going I'll show you what I mean There you have it. Thanks for watching, guys.